Google Glass is basically a virtual reality sort of thing. And you put this gloss on your head and you can run applications through it just by swiping your finger. Essentially everything you can do with a smartphone except right here in front of your eye. So he thought that was great. And I formed Carolina Glass Explorers on campus. Our organization is dedicated to exploring Google Glass in addition to other emerging technologies in the field of healthcare and also disabilities. I have always been very interested in business and technology. So when I heard about Carolina Glass Explorers, which uses Google Glass, I was really excited and wanted to get involved. I see show viewfinder. We are group of people that love to hang out and love to talk about this kind of stuff, technology, but our ultimate reason for gathering together is, I think, to try to use glass to benefit the public. We have several projects that we're working on right now. Our two main partners are the Moorhead Planetarium and the J.C. Burns Center at UNC Hospitals. We actually use the glass with doctors in uh, third world country to shoot video through a video conference to a doctor in the UNC Burns Center who can actually tell the doctors who are less experienced and have less education in burns how to treat a patient while they're actually treating them. The sun is really a star. And at the planetarium, one of our groups created a closed captioning application where the words to the star shows run across the Google Glass and the closed captioning wouldn't have to run across the whole dome. Google's put glass on hold, but we certainly have it. We're still using the technology as is. We can still code for it, we can still work with it. We do have our projects that we're working on and we'll continue to work on them with what we have and that won't stop Carolina Glass Explorers. The public service part about Google Glass really gives a meaning to our organization.